Okay, so you probably know in the last video I said I was going to show my um, embellishment um, unit, but I wanted to get it all labelled before I did that and I've run out of label sticker stuff. So I thought I would show my um, paper collections and I don't have much um, loose pattern paper and here comes the bus. There he goes. That's why we get so much dust here. It's quite a busy road. Um, I don't have much loose paper. Um, I did go through it and I mainly kept things in collections because I find um, I work better like that. So this first basket is all my Kidaholic kits. So um, I think I've got my Bicky Booten in the back there too. I don't know how that got in there, but that's all my Kidaholic kits and um, they just stay in the baggies until I'm ready to use them. And like I said, like there's a lot here, but um, um, I have not been scrapping that much these past few years, except for when I go on retreat. And I'm really, really um, focused on getting uh, uh, getting in here more now that I'm, I'm slowly got myself organized, well, semi-organized. Um, to create more, um, to get things, get those stories into the albums, but just to have that time for myself as well. So, yeah, so this one's Kidaholic Kits, and I haven't got any um, labels or anything on there. I'm going to wait until I get the rest of these and have it um, set up the way, I want, the way that I want, and then I'll probably have hanging things, because this is all my Cocoa Vanilla, and this is all my Cocoa Vanilla. Um love Cocoa Vanilla Studio, so I pretty much guarantee if they bring a collection out, I am going to get the collection. And I've been lucky too that um, over the years with Kidaholic Kits, Steph has always um, included uh, Cocoa Vanilla whenever they um, release a new collection, um, will be pretty much uh, in one of her kits that she puts out. So. Um, so what I've done is, because uh, these Kmart uh, bookcases, they're not exactly big enough to hold. Uh, where are they? So I have a whole heap of these pouches and they slightly bend over. It's just a smidge under that and I had everything in them kind of folders. And it just wasn't working in this bookcase, so I went back to um, the Ziploc bags and, uh, see, that's, I had to put that on the side, but they bend at the top and there is that, that's it there. These ones fit really well and they're the ones from the reject shop um, with a little string tied to them. Um, they fit really well. I've got, see, I'm going to have to take these out, they're just these pouches are just getting ruined in here but what I do is I put them in the I haven't this is my newest one the storyteller I think by Coco Vanilla um I I've got a tab punch and I just put the name of the collection on the side and sticky tape it they are see these pouches all have to be um, replaced because they're just getting ruined in here. They're not meant for that. Um, then I've got Sunkissed. I haven't labelled that. And you can see how I've got it all. The camera keeps going out of focus. Uh, all labelled. So um, my... There is one I've got in my DIY kits too. So I've taken that out. So I've got this one here. I think it was just something that I've got to put away. I oh, know these ones are the reject shop ones, are they? I'm sure I've got them stringy ones. That stringy one from reject shop too. Um, when I went away to retreat, it's just got some tissue paper in that. Um, cut apart, any random cut apart sheet that wasn't part of a collection um, goes into this one. And then I've just, I, uh, this was supposed to see. I've been rearranging and things have been messed up. So, um, pink brush, and then there's a lot of Kaser. 
uh, collections. And then I've got like Heidi Swap, Heidi Swap, uh, I can't read, uh, Crate Paper, Pink Paisley, Blush, and you, can, you get the idea. I've just um, put the little tab on there. That has got like all coastal, it's all Kaiser Craft, but it's all like the, um, what is that collection? Island. I can't even read. Island Escape and there's another collection like similar to that for my beach photos. I've got in that one is just some uh, layouts that I haven't finished and then I've got silhouette die cuts that need to be sorted and I'm going to show you how I store them in another video. Oops, I'm knocking things. So down on the next shelf, this one's empty. It's just got some Heidi Swap stuff in a pouch. I've got some paper pads that I recently purchased and then I think, yeah, these are some more Kitaholic kit and other, oh, I won them up at retreat. Yeah, some random um, kits there and then this is my loose paper, a bit of acrylic. Um, so I have... I have sorted them like floral and then um, then it goes through all the colors um, then wood grains black black and white and then right at the back I've got um, printables and that is some more loose paper that I just come across in a box that needs to be sorted and either sold off or put into my collection so that's all the um, that's all my collections that I have got up here. I've got so much downstairs and I'm really, really dreading um, going through that. I think a lot of it is going to have to be sold off because there's just no way I can get through that much paper. <laughs> um, the the um, the way that I scrap, how slowly I scrap, yeah, there's just no way. So they'll either get sold off. Um, I th think I've got like a lot of paper pads down there and yeah. So either sold off or to my girls or donated or yeah. So I wanted to share, um, share how I store my collections and my pattern paper. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you join me for another video. I will share another part of my room and how I organize my things. Alright, see you then.